My name is Natasha Macau. I'm the Chief Experience Officer for Theodore Tugboat. 21 years ago, um, Theodore was uh, born, I suppose, in uh, Snyder Shipyard in Nova Scotia. My name is Captain Caitlin Simpson. recruited uh, to be crew on Theodore 2. My background is in tall ships uh, and uh, from there I did youth sail training so I worked a lot with children and uh, I guess I had a good reputation so I thought I'd be perfect for working on a childhood icon like Theodore. So he is a working replica of the tugboat that was part of the TV series Theodore Tugboat. Uh, so in the TV series it was a little figurine about yay big, operated by remote control in an enclosed studio. Um, and they decided to make a, a replica, a working replica of him, so it's exactly what he used to be on TV, uh, to bring him out for people to come and enjoy him. So I think you know, the TV show was so successful and he's a giant tugboat with a happy face. And we're now happy that he's here in Ontario, specifically in Hamilton as his new home port. Um, and we're delighted to be a part of the next chapter of his life. It's, it's an amazing experience. Theodore is such a popular guy. I feel like a celebrity every time we roll into town. Uh, just watching everyone's faces as we roll into port. I always joke that it's happiness at the push of a button when I sound the horn and just watch people's faces light up. Most people don't realize Theodore is a wooden vessel and wood does come with a whole host of unique challenges when it comes to maintenance. And also just Theodore being a celebrity, we run into unique problems like uh, being surrounded by other boats when we pull into a place. It's not uncommon for a, bunch, uh, a small fleet of pleasure boats to come out and interact with us, which is great. And I love it, but I gotta be careful not to hit any of them. Sometimes it gets a bit crowded. Oh, it's so wonderful, like everyone's always so happy to see us and we feel so welcomed in these communities. Um, even if people uh, aren't really fans of the Theodore show, like he's just such a unique boat to begin with that they can't help but stop and check out the boat with the hat. Part of Theodore's everyday job is to bring awareness and education about the great career opportunities that there are both on water and uh, on land within the marine industry. So be it uh, a captain of a vessel, be it um, a cook on board, a welder in a dry dock, 
there are wonderful career opportunities uh, to be had and it's uh, an industry that doesn't get as much attention as others. So within the next five to 10 years, there's, there's a huge shortfall of people uh, that are retiring from the industry. And Theodore gives us the permission to tell the story in, an, in a way that only Theodore ca could or can. Um, so very much uh, how he did when he was, you know, when he was on TV, and he talked about what the boats did in the big harbor, um, you know, everything from the barges to, to the tugs. Um, he now gives us the permission to share with everybody what it's like to be in the marine industry. What, what is it like to work at a dry dock? What is it like to be a deckhand on a boat? What do you actually do? Um, and spotlight those opportunities so that we can introduce it to a new generation of Canadians and get them to consider um, the marine industry as, as a career track. So another thing Theodore is talking about is uh, being an ambassador for the industry. The marine industry is one that's uh, starving for individuals right now. Uh, so we're really looking for people to fill those roles and not just roles that you would expect to be associated with the marine industry like captains and deckhands and engineers but also the uh, the shore aspects as well so bridge operators, radio operators, welders, marine electricians, structural engineers, marine architects. I mean like there's a whole facet that's kind of below the surface that boats like Theodore rely on to keep going and keep operating and uh, those types of jobs are really in uh, high demand right now. Swim Drink Fish is, uh, is a group that we're really excited to be partnered with just to participate uh, in keeping our waterways um, swimmable, drinkable and fishable because you know it's something we take for granted with 20% of the world's fresh water literally under us. Uh, it's just easy to forget how important it is and, and that it does need to be looked after. So help reminding people of that and doing our part to help maintain the waterway is really important to, to the crew and to Theodore. We're, we have a huge responsibility that we're res uh, responsible for 20% of the, of the world's um, fresh water. So if we don't pay attention to its swimmableness, drinkableness, or fishableness, um, the next generation will have, well, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. So, you know, seven generations ago, those were the waterways that we have in front of us today, and we need to take care of them for the seven generations to come. Um, and because Theodore spends every day on the water and his belly's in the water, who better than to talk to people about conservation, preservation, restoration, and how important and significant our waterways are to us as human beings, but also to our economy. You know, the world trade, we get the lion's share of our goods delivered to us through this way. So if, if we're not focused and, and paying attention on its health, it has bigger repercussions and it has long-term effects. Um, and again, it's, it's really to bring awareness to our waterways and their significance. Um, and making sure that people are, are mindful 